This presentation is brought to you by Sovereign Laboratories, manufacturers of the most bioavailable colostrum on the market, clinically proven to heal leaky gut syndrome. Fifteen years ago, I was treating patients with diabetes and other issues, but in lecturing on diabetes and epidemiology, and started figuring out that when hydrogen is in water, you can give it to patients with diabetes and other pathology, and you'll see blood glucose levels normalize. You'll see other things happen very significantly in the body. So I got really passionate about this because if we can prevent pathology, it's far better than putting a Band-Aid when there's a problem. So I'm extremely passionate about fixing the source of the issue. So let's go real quick. What is hydrogen and how can it help you? That's the, that's the two questions, right? That's what we're here for. What is it and what can it do for me? So let's talk about hydrogen real quick. Number one, it's, it's number one on the periodic table because it is tiny. And because it is tiny, it has tremendous benefits. When you drive around New York, the small cars can fit more places, right? You don't want a huge car here, you want a tiny little car. Well, that's the same as hydrogen. Hydrogen is so small, it can go anywhere it needs to go in your body very quickly very easily so that it can fix issues that you have. So what does it do? As it says up here, it reduces oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. Now that's critical. Why is that critical? Because most disease, most pathology is caused by what? Oxidative stress or the inability of the body to reduce oxidative stress back into a normal range. This is our problem. We talk about homeostasis. We talk about fixing ourselves and getting back to homeostasis. Well, what does that really mean? That means balancing oxidative stress and reduction. And that's what we need to do. We can't have more oxidative stress or too much reduction of oxidative stress. We need oxidative stress to have proper health, but we cannot have too much oxidative stress. That's the reality. So hydrogen naturally reduces oxidative stress, but it does not do it like typical antioxidants. I think all of you are familiar with antioxidants. Antioxidants are electron donors. Typically is the way we think of an, uh, an antioxidant. Well, that's good, but it can also be an issue because when, when a substance donates an electron, it actually becomes a pro-oxidant. And so it can become an issue greater than the problem that you had. In hydrogen, it is not an electron donor. And I'll show you a study in just a few minutes from Nature Medicine on the fact that hydrogen, molecular hydrogen, diatomic hydrogen, is a strategic antioxidant that only reacts with cytotoxic or cell damaging free radicals. So the things that are damaging the cells of the body, that's what hydrogen reacts with. Things like hydroxyl radicals, the most cell damaging free radical in the body. Also superoxide, for instance, which is another very powerful reactive oxygen species. So these are the kind of things that hydrogen does. Hydrogen only reaches and reacts with the very, very cell damaging free radicals in the body and it does not touch the free radicals in the body that have a physiological role. Or in other words, they sustain life, okay? So we also have ghrelin secretions. I don't know how many of you have heard of ghrelin secretion. How many of you have heard of ghrelin? Okay, very good. Ghrelin is the hunger hormone. So if you've ever felt hungry, then you're feeling the effects of ghrelin. How many of you have heard of leptin? Good. Cat James, which is right back in the booth back here, one of the best lecturers on leptin sensitivity. If you haven't, go talk to her about leptin sensitivity. Ghrelin and leptin are two master hormones in the body that control fat storing, energy, a number of different things. And hydrogen regulates ghrelin and leptin in the body very, very beautifully. Ghrelin is created in the stomach when, and when hydrogen gets into the stomach, it stimulates ghrelin secretions. 
Now that can be beneficial for neurologic disorders, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, autism, things of this nature that are lacking ghrelin secretions because of gut damage. Hydrogen stimulates ghrelin secretions. It can be very powerful for neurologic disorder prevention and, and help for those that already have neurologic, neurologic disorders. It can be tremendously helpful. The other thing that, that, that can happen with hydrogen is increased energy. I think all of us probably want increased energy, right? At some point or another, it'd be nice to have an energy boost. And at the end of the day, we'll, we'll look at another study on anaerobic microflora. So we just heard a lecture on colostrum and how we can repair the gut. Well, I'll tell you the most important thing we can do is keep the gut healthy because 60% of our immune system is tied to gut health. So if we can improve gut integrity, microbiome, and have good bacteria that are inhabiting our gut, we will not be susceptible to the things that are going all around. Okay, that's the bottom line. We all know that we can be in a room with sick people and we don't always get sick, right? It's not an automatic, it's not a guarantee. If we have a healthy immune system, then our body can reject these things. We don't, we aren't susceptible, all right? So these are some of the things we won't go into it. Tomorrow at three o'clock, we'll go into it a little bit more. Today we will not, but this talks to ghrelin secretions and the different organs and systems in the body that are benefited by ghrelin secretions, okay? So here's the first study in 2007 with Nature Medicine. Now Nature Medicine is a very, very highly regarded periodical for scientists, for doctors. And what they're saying here is that hydrogen is a strategic antioxidant that reaches and reacts with hydroxyl radicals. Critical, and this was in 2007. Well, since 2007, we have 700 studies now with different pathology, 170 human disease models that we know hydrogen is therapeutic with. Now, before this sounds too amazing and crazy, I want you to understand that if your gut health is correct and we can correct that, you were designed to create hydrogen in your gut, right? That's called flatulence, <laughs> all right? If we eat food that has fiber, water-soluble fiber, then we have flatulence or farts, right? The, all the, we, if we had some boy, little boys in here, they'd be laughing already. But the reality is we don't eat the proper foods, we don't have the right bacteria strains of E. coli, and we, don't, and we have leaky gut or other issues, and so we just not, are not converting foods correctly into hydrogen gas to reduce oxidative stress. So we, I, I created, after understanding the science, I developed a system that dissolves molecular hydrogen into water. So you can simply drink water. That's the delivery mechanism of the hydrogen gas into the body so that you can get the help in the gut. You can get the help neurologically. You can stop cancer and diabetes, these types of things. So here is a colon cancer study that was published in 2015 showing that high water with hydrogen gas dissolved in it greatly enhanced cell apoptosis. This is huge. This was huge. This was done by a company that has the chemotherapy drug or what's called 5-fluoracil. They wanted to know what would hydrogen do with colon cancer. And as it states in the bottom, high content hydrogen water had stronger oxidative and anti-cancer-like activity than natural hydrogen water. Well, wait a minute. What's natural hydrogen water? Well, on this earth, there are natural waters that have hydrogen gas dissolved in it, and people flock to those places to get healed. Well, we're creating a system basically that mimics nature and puts hydrogen water so that you don't have to go to Mexico, you don't have to go to mountain regions, you don't have to go to India, you don't have to go to all over the world to get these things, you can have it in your home. At the bottom it says, in conclusion, high content hydrogen water can inhibit colon cancer. That is a huge statement. I, I hope you understand that because most studies will say maybe on Wednesday, if the barometric pressure is this, possibly kind of help you. This is saying it will inhibit colon cancer. That's, this study was so powerful 
that they were willing to state that in this study, that it stopped colon cancer. So this is, this is powerful for cancer. And there are many studies on cancer. This is just one of them showing that hydrogen helped. Here's one on diabetes. 80% of the individuals with diabetes were normalized through an oral glucose oral test. Also IgT, impaired glucose tolerance individuals were normalized as well. Simply in an eight-week study. Huge, huge, huge. Anyone that knows someone with diabetes, I, I treated for many years and spent a, a half of my professional career trying to help those with diabetes not lose their limbs, their toes, their feet. And I'm telling you, if there's a way to stop the damage on the body, this would be huge for these people because they don't know what to do. Okay? Here we have the fact that hydrogen improves or increases anaerobic microflora in the human intestinal tract. This is a great study. Is there anything greater than what we want than to increase good bacteria in our gut? I think we spend a lot of time trying to find things, whether it's fermented foods or other things that can get good bacteria back. And I'll tell you that hydrogen in the gut will outpace even an antibiotic. And I've done this many times with those on antibiotics. We can outpace good bacteria growth than what the, good, than the, the antibiotic is killing. So very powerful. Here's one for rheumatoid arthritis, just showing you, again, there's a neurologic component to rheumatoid arthritis, but here you've helped individuals with rheumatoid arthritis and, and it did not come back. It was fixing the joint or the articulation. It was not coming back after this. Here's muscle fatigue. So those that are athletic, those that want to run, those that want to live life to the fullest, if you don't want to fatigue and you don't want to run down, then you drink hydrogen water. Hydrogen in the body, in the muscles particularly, stopped lactate buildup in the muscle. This was a double blind study done with soccer players. And those that drank hydrogen water 30 minutes prior to playing had no fatigue. Those that drank the placebo water fatigued like normal. This is huge. This is a great, great study on the body and the way the body can function or not and how hydrogen can impact how quickly muscles begin to fatigue. Huge study. So, just to help you understand, electrolysis is the technology that we utilize in the machine that I developed. Now, what we did that was different, most electrolysis devices within two weeks, all these machines that you hear about that do alkaline water, all this kind of stuff, doesn't matter how much they are, $500, $5,000, it doesn't matter. Within two weeks, they will no longer dissolve molecular hydrogen unless you clean them with citric acid or vinegar, commercial vinegar. And so don't rely on those machines, even though they're all starting to talk about the fact, oh, it makes hydrogen. It does make hydrogen, but it will not dissolve the hydrogen in the water. So you're not getting it in the body. It's just a marketing, marketing. So understand the cathode right there, that cathode will get calcium buildup within two weeks and it will no longer dissolve hydrogen because the bubbles will be too large and, and they won't be dissolvable anymore. This is what we changed. This and this, the, the cathode and the anode, we swap them every single time you turn our machine on. There is no other machine on earth that will do it. This is a patented feature. We have 20 patents. They, they can't get around it. And the bottom line is we reverse. Next time you use the machine, that will be positive and that will be negative. That is the only way to stop minerals from building up in the electrolysis chamber and keeping hydrogen being dissolved in the water forever. And that's what we were able to do. I didn't develop electrolysis. Anthony Carlisle, Dr. Carlisle did in 1800, long before I was around. So in 1800 is when electrolysis was discovered for what reason? Hydrogen. Because in 1798, he learned at a medical conference, much like you're learning today, he learned that hydrogen had antioxidant properties. Now the earliest study we can find is from the 1500s. Doesn't that make us foolish that we're just now refiguring it out 
when in the 1500s they understood hydrogen had antioxidant properties. So today, this is what I changed. This is what I did. My contribution is having a machine that will never have to be cleaned, will always dissolve molecular hydrogen no matter what you do.